I am Jorge Marcone. I'm a member of the Spanish and Portuguese department, but also a member of the Comparative Literature Program. My signature course is entitled uh, Global Ecological Imagination. Uh, in this course, the students will learn how people from outside the United States and Europe are thinking, are responding, and are changing regarding major environmental changes brought to their lives by a global free market uh, economy. The purpose of this course is to take this question or this dilemma or this combined concern outside of the United States and outside of Europe. And I think this is when the term global plays a, a role in, in the title. Uh, in this course, we're going to pay attention to indigenous and aboriginal peoples. The interesting thing about uh, how are we going to study these people is that we are going to do it through text, through literary text, and through film, mostly, by dividing them in two big groups. The first group is going to be the group devoted to studying the issue of species extinction and how that relates to colonization and community resilience. Uh, we're going to read The Heart of Redness from South Africa by author Sakemda. The Hungry Tide from Amitav Ghosh from India. In the second unit, we are going to focus on narratives that have to do with the economy of extractivism and the impact of that economy of extractivism in the way people understand their relationship to their homelands and in the way people are rethinking what is the public wealth. For that second part of the, of the class, we are going to read a manifesto from Ken Sarawiba from Nigeria. And then we're going to move on into different films and documentaries from Ecuador and Bolivia on a popular environmental movement, or sometimes called uh, environmentalism of the poor. I think that the students uh, are aware and concerned about major planetary environmental problems, as well as local environmental problems. The student population at Rutgers is as diverse or more diverse than the geographies that we are going to cover. If there is any place in which it makes sense, in which the idea of comparative literature makes sense, is in the state of New Jersey. So uh, one of the exciting things about uh, teaching this uh, signature course is to raise awareness about parts of the world that are not indifferent to our own students. Because at Rutgers we have a significant number of students that already in their histories and their identities are tied to other places in the world.